I would say concentrating on key details for various different dress codes. So morning suit, black tie, white tie, even a normal suit for a, for a wedding. I would definitely stick to black or a midnight for the summer black tie events and then switch to a velvet for the sort of autumn or winter evening events that require black tie. Morning suits, I think the guidelines are sort of, you know, grey stripe trousers, house two trousers, black jacket. Kind of feel free to have your own expression and personality on the morning coat waistcoat. I don't think you should conform to too many of the guidelines, but I think that there are boundaries there to sort of understand and follow as such. The difference between morning coat and black tie. Morning coat you wouldn't wear after five o'clock or six o'clock generally as a rule of thumb. Both acceptable for weddings, but as long as that's sort of stipulated on the invite and things like that. I think that morning coats are most commonly worn for sort of the races, Royal Ascot, the Derby, also if you're presenting in front of royalty. So the main sort of differences are generally sort of obviously day wear to evening wear. What to wear for a black tie event? starting from the shoes. So I would probably go for either a very high shine or a patent. Socks, plain or with a slight pattern. Black and white spots are always quite nice. Trousers, always with a single silk braid down either side of the trouser leg. Moving to the waist, no belts, always either a cummerbund or a waistcoat. And then moving to the shirt, marcella or pleated. Cufflinks, studs, hand-tied bow tie. Jackets, I would say matching trousers or plain whites. Velvet in the winter is always quite nice. Quite classically, black jacket, black trousers is generally the rule of thumb. A lounge suit and when should it be worn? I would say that it's not something that's too business orientated. More often than not, it's a single button with a peak or a notch lapel. But that would be something that would be worn to a social occasion, sort of informal wedding, things like that. Don't be afraid to take the starch and the stiffness out of formal wear. Have your own interpretation on everything that you wear. And I think that is quite important within all menswear.